Hey guys, it's Chelsea, and today I'm going to be showing you how I do my foundation routine. This is going to include my full face foundation routine, and then also my contouring and highlight process that I do every single day whenever I'm getting ready. So right now, I have no makeup on my face, I have a little bit of blemishes, and then my face is just really pale. So I have my hair clipped up that way it's out of the way, and I also have another um, small clip to clip up my bangs. I'm going to do this video um, talk through, that way you guys can see and hear everything that I'm doing and um, I'll show you every single product that I'm using in this process. This is what I use every single day and what I like to do as far as my foundation goes. So I'm going to first start off with my primer. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer shine free this is supposed to help keep the shine away from the certain areas your problematic areas that i have so i'm just going to go and put this on my face i go and do and put a little bit of dots in these that's four areas and then i rub it in my face this is a nice smooth and like sheer primer so it really helps to go on and it, you pretty much can't feel it on your face. Okay, once that's rubbed in, we're going to move on to my e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. So I use this under my eye. It's just a little pump like this and I take it and put pump on my hand and then I dab some under here and under here and then I rub it in. This helps to keep from getting those lines that you get from applying foundation underneath the eye. This is supposed to help to keep those lines away. And once that's rubbed in, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. I use this as my eyeshadow primer. So I'm just going to go and put some on my finger and then rub it in on my lid up to my eyebrow. You want to use a primer for your eyeshadow and even on your face. This just helps to get a nice smooth surface for your eyeshadow or your concealer to go on top of and it also makes it last a lot longer. Okay, so once that's rubbed in, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with my liquid foundation. I like to use a liquid foundation first and a maximized foundation. That way it covers up any blemishes that I have or red spots. So I'm going to start off, I use just a regular stipple brush like this and I use two foundations actually. I use the Fit Maybelline liquid foundation. This is in, I think, I don't remember what it was called. Oh, Toffee Caramel, so I'm gonna use this. And then I have my e.l.f. Maximum Cover Concealer. So I use these, and I mix these two together because this is more like my summer shade and right now I'm not as tan as I usually am. So I mix these two together to give me a nice glow, but not being over too tan. So I'm gonna go and just take this and I'm gonna go and put it on my hand just a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. concealer and just squeeze a bit on there like that. And then I'm going to mix the two together to get a nice color. So once I've mixed it, I have some on the brush, I'm going to take it and I'm going to dab it all over the face. The reason why I'm dabbing it is because it'll make sure that it gives you a nice flawless finish to your foundation and you don't get those streaky lines that you get from rubbing it in. This also helps to make sure that you're getting maximum amount of concealer on your face instead of it staying rubbing off by the brush. So I'm just gonna daub this all over my face. Going back to my hand and getting more. Okay, 
Now once that's all on, I'm going to just take kind of a little bit of the excess with my hand. I'm going to rub this under my eyes. That way I didn't get it with a brush and I don't end up poking myself in the eye. So I just take my hand and just rub it underneath. That way I don't have any dark circles under my eyes and it matches the rest of my face. So once I've done that, with a liquid foundation, I like to let it set because obviously it is wet. So I'm going to let it set before I even go ahead and put another powder on top of my face. That way I don't brush anything off that I just put on and it's soaked into my skin. So right now, normally I would go in and do my eyebrows while I'm waiting on my foundation to dry. So I will be right back whenever it is done. So now that I've let that set for about five minutes, I went in and filled in my eyebrows while I was waiting. I'm going to use my Mineral Wear Loose Powder. This is in Natural Beige. So I'm going to use this in just a regular um, mineral powder brush and I'm just going to put that all over my face. use a powder after to set in the liquid foundation and make it last longer and I go and I put it down my neck that way it matches my face so then I'm just going to get some on my hand and do underneath my eye again that way everything is cohesive and matches I like to use the mineral wear um, powder because it doesn't make my face look orange and I feel like it lasts me all day long so now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with my, well this is a Philip Lucy, just a concealer stick, it looks like this. This is in a cream beige, so I'm going to go and put this in, on my nose, do like my V right here, right up here, and in these areas. This is going to help it be lighter in these areas, so that way you'll focus more on your eyes. So I'm just going to go and do the process that I normally would do. This might look funky, but once we rub it in, it's all going to look nice. So this is the way that this should look just kind of randomly put it around and then you're just going to rub it in. I rub it in with my hand. So you just want to make sure that it is rubbed in really good. So that will just make these areas lighter. And then that way you will focus more on those areas and it kind of forms to your eyes. So now that I've done that, we're going to go in to contouring. So what I'm going to use for contouring, I'm going to use my e.l.f. contour and blush little... Um, palette here. This is in Antigua. So this is really dark. I'm going to use this just so that you guys can see what a more dramatic contour is going to look like. So I just use this little brush right here. It's a Neutrogena brush and it just works really good for contouring my face. Um, how contouring works, you just want to, like I can see on my face right here, I have like a natural contour line. So I'm just going to go and follow that. If you don't know how to contour, you can go and stick a brush kind of right there and it'll show you where on your face your contour line is supposed to be. So I'm just going to take my brush, put it in this, and then I'm going to go ahead and contour. And I'm going to bring it up along 
the side of the face and up onto my temples and this will all be blended in so obviously it's not going to be as dark as this so then onto the other side like i can see my natural start of a contour so i'm just going to go ahead and follow that like that and then bring it up along the side of the face and up on to the temples then I'm going to do around my neck right here that will just enhance that area and then I'm going to take it and kind of put it alongside the neck too like that and then I'm going to go in with a small little this is a contouring brush it looks like this so i'm just going to go and take some of the bronzer and then go and put it along each side of my nose this helps to make it look thinner and kind of really changes the look of your nose so i'm going to take it in like that and then i'm going to go around my nostrils and bronzer that up as well and I'm just going to take it across right here, too. So all of this will be blended in, but I'm going to show you it without it blended in first. So then I'm going to take the same palette, and I'm going to use this small mineral powder brush. I use this for my blush, and I'm just going to take this nice bright pink blush. And then I'm going to go and put that right above where I put that contour line and kind of put them on the apples of my cheeks also and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side so I'm just kind of round it out on my cheek and then just kind of bring it up like that so it's nice and bright right now and then we'll blend it in and then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter. It looks like this. This is in Moon Knight Pearl. So it's a really nice shimmery color. So I'm just going to take this and my... Um, this is my bronzing brush and it's at an angle. So this works really well to get that nice sharp line. So I'm going to go and get this onto the brush and then I'm going to put this right above the blush to give me a nice highlight like that so that's just going to give me a nice highlight and I'm going to kind of go over where I put that light eyes that light concealer and put that over top of it as well kind of just brush like the excess that's on the brush onto there making sure so this is what your face should look before you go in and blend it like nice contour blush and then highlight same on the other side and then up onto the temples so i'm just going to take a big powder brush and i'm just going to go in and blend this out depending on how dramatic you want your contour to be is how dark you want to go so i just wanted to show you guys a darker contour that way you can see what that looks like i normally do a more dramatic whenever i'm going somewhere nice and for like a daily contour i'll do a light color so now i'm going to go on top and kind of blend in alongside the face and up onto the temples as well contouring just helps to make your face look thinner and also helps for you to kind of engage the certain areas that you want to want everyone to look at make sure to do under your neck where you put that contour and on the sides Make sure this is all about blending you really want to have this blended in nice I like to take my hands and kind of rub in the contour on the nose just so that way I can get it good okay 
Now I'm going to just take a e.l.f. makeup set and spray. I'm just going to spray that on my face. To kind of set everything that we just did. So now this is what everything looks like with a nice contour and my foundation routine. So my face definitely is not as pale as it was before. I have a nice glow going and you kind of see like the lighter areas is going to make whenever I go into my eyeshadow it's going to make everything focus more onto my eyes and that's really what everyone wants. So just thins out the face kind of makes it more look more angular and your nose just kind of looks more skinny and it's just a great thing i love contouring my face i don't know why i ever not did it i don't know but i'm gonna go and record a eyeshadow video for you guys right now that will go with this so i'm gonna go and do that so whenever you're done watching this go check it out please don't forget to subscribe and i hope you liked this video this is what everything looks like whenever it is done this is how i like to do everything every single day so thank for what thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye